happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to share a video that i filmed like eight months ago it's when i first started my nail journey here on youtube and i was practicing how to do ombre nails using dip powder gel method and um yeah so i almost scrapped this video because it was so old but i figured i would keep it edit it upload it just in case it could be helpful to someone out there that's attempting to try to ombre with dip powders all this week on my channel i'm going to be focusing on dip powder um, and dip powder nail art and so yeah keep on watching if you want to see how i got this beautiful flawless ombre they're going to be called lemonade inspired nails and i'm super excited about it um i do have a practice fingernail here so this is the little practice fingernail i'll be using today i'm going to be using some dip powders i'll be doing the gel method with dip powders and i'm going to show you all what i want to do they're going to be lemonade inspired nails or well, actually it's going to be pink lemonade <laughs> that's what i've called this set already for the vision that I have in my head. But we'll see how this little design turns out. I use some painter's tape here just to adhere the nail onto Miss Peggy. And I'll show you here shortly all the supplies you'll need. So yeah, that has a pretty good grip on there for her. So Miss Peggy's ready to go. Supplies you'll need is uh, dip powders. This is my pink lemonade colors that I'll be using. This is from GH Dip. I have the color French Rose and Mango. You'll also need um, some acrylic powder. I'm gonna be using clear. You need your gel base, gel top. And then I just have some cupcake liners here to help me with pouring over. So I think that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and hop right on into this. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you'll take your base coat and you'll just wanna paint the fingernail like so. And then after you're done with the base coat, you'll wanna just take your uh, powder here. So since I'm, I'm gonna do like a half and half ombre, so the idea that I have for my nails for this design is I wanna do, um, so it's gonna be two pink, two yellow, and then the middle is gonna be an ombre, which is going from uh, right to left. So this side will be pink, this side will be yellow. So, um, Actually, let me go ahead and open both colors up here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to flash cure this for about 10 seconds so that I can get it to be kind of sticky. So that's been flash cured for 10 seconds. This is an old fluffy makeup brush that I have. It's an eyeshadow brush. Haven't used it in forever, so hopefully it still works. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this pink color here, just pack it onto my brush like so. And then I'm just gonna actually dab it onto the nail, like so. And the point is to just kind of get it to where it's um, kind of creating like this ombre look, almost. So you just wanna pack it in, pack it in, like so. And you see how it's kind of fading over to the other side? You wanna keep doing that until you kind of get your desired look. thus far so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up my brush a little bit and then take that yellow color and do the same thing I'm gonna switch out these little cupcake liners here I'm gonna take the yellow and do the same thing just kind of pack it onto here like so and it's gonna create that really beautiful ombre look And after you get the ombre, you'll want to flash cure it for about 10 seconds. And I'll go ahead and do a full cure because this layer has not been fully cured just yet. So that's how it's looking thus far. Okay, tap off the excess here. This is what the first layer looks like. Looks like a pretty nice ombre, ombre thus far. So I'm gonna go ahead and fully cure this for 60 seconds. That's what it looks like after it's cured for the full 60 seconds. What you'll wanna do now is just wipe off any excess powder, like so. And then you repeat the same steps. 
So I'm gonna go on with another base coat here, like so. Make sure you cover the entire nail. Then you wanna flash cure this for 10 seconds. Okay, so that's been flash cured. Then, just like I did at first, you'll wanna take just a little bit of the color. I wipe off the yellow really quick. Take a little bit of the color and then pack the color onto the side of the nail. So, like so. And essentially, the more times you do this, the more it's gonna build up the opacity of that color and get a really nice ombre effect. It's looking really pretty. Well, I'm loving it so far. Just pack on as much color as you want. Like that. That pink is looking really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the yellow. I went a little bit too far over with the pink. But that's okay though. I think when I actually apply it to my nail, I would have been done perfect with this little technique here. And actually, I'm gonna hold the brush a little taut here like this, see if I can get it packed on that middle line a little bit better to where it kind of fades a little bit more into the yellow. That way, it's not so much pink on the nail. I'm gonna go ahead and tap off any excess. That's what two coats look like. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what it looks like after 60 seconds. This ombre is looking absolutely gorgeous. I am loving how this is looking. Wow. I'm here for it, okay? Here for it, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust off any excess powder. I think two coats is pretty fine, but I am gonna go ahead and go in with the third just to make sure you know, the color is like really nice and opaque. So again, you'll wanna take another layer of your dip, I mean, I'm sorry, your base color here. Yeah, this looks really nice. It looks really beautiful. Flash here this for 10 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and pack that color on each side again. This is a really easy ombre technique. I'm like really loving this. You know, I've not been very good at doing ombres myself, but this right here looks like it's almost foul proof. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> I actually discovered this technique from Marla Chris, so I'll go ahead and leave her uh, information link down below, but she recently did um, a set actually just like this. It's funny, I was getting ready to do this set and then I saw her do it and I was like, oh, cool. Well, I'll just go ahead and follow her little tutorial and bring my little vision to life. So, that's the pink side and here's the yellow side. And again, we're just gonna pack that color on. Nice and smooth. And then again, I'm gonna take the yellow, make it tout, and just kind of go right at that line with it, just to kind of make sure we get a nice yellow, light yellow color here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna just tap off the excess here, and I'm gonna flash, I'm gonna cure this for full 60 seconds. So while it's curing, I do wanna jazz up this set a bit. So this is, these are some glitters that I got from my local Dollar Tree. I did feature this in um, a Dollar Tree haul, so I'll definitely link that. Um, down below where I got some nail supply, nail art supplies. Um, and so I actually wanna use this top glitter here. It's kinda just like a regular clear glitter. It's not much to it, but I kinda wanna add that on top of it just to give the nail a little bit of personality. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here. And because it's in like this little baggie here, I do have like some of these Dollar Tree containers here. I'm gonna just pour the glitter into, and I'm gonna do the pour over method with this as well. Go ahead and prep that while that nail is still baking here. So 
So this is what the nail looks like after 60 seconds. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you want to, from here, you can really just go ahead and do a base coat and a top coat. But like I said, I want to kind of try to add that little bit of sparkle to it. Don't know if it's going to mess it up or make it better, but we're going to find out here on camera. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and dust off the excess here. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and apply another base layer. After you do the base coat, you're going to go ahead with that glitter and just pour it right on top, like so. And after you're done pouring it over, you just want to tap off the excess, like so. And then I'm going to just add some clear powder on top of that, just to kind of clear and encapsulate. So tap off the excess. And then what I'm gonna do here is just kind of press down onto the nail just to kind of get the glitters to kind of be flush to the nail, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit more clear on top of that just to make sure everything's encapsulated here. looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. All right, so that's what it looks like after it's been cured for 60 seconds. The next one I'm gonna do is go ahead and dust off the excess powder here. Huh. It's looking a little bit too textured and too sugary for me, to be honest. I don't like, I don't think I like how that looks. Yeah, I'm not sure that I like how that looks, so let me just, Trust the process here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the base coat and the top coat and see what, it, see what the finished product is looking like here. Okay, happy people. So as I'm applying the base coat, I just wanted to pop in really quick. Again, this video was filmed like eight or nine months ago when I first started um, my nail journey. And I realized the mistake that I made here. I've done dip powder with gel um, plenty of times since this video. I did two things wrong. One, I applied the glitter to the wet uh, base coat and didn't cure it immediately after. I actually went in with the clear, uh, the clear acrylic or quote unquote clear dip powder right over the the glitter that wasn't cured and so i essentially did three layers into one wet base coat that was why this nail did not come out the way i wanted it to come out and so i do remember um and you all will see here soon that i ended up scrapping this nail all together just going back to the original ombre and just top coating it and leaving it at that but i just wanted to kind of keep that part in and show you all um that was why that nail turned out looking really cloudy and the glitters not looking as shiny as I had wanted them to. I always prefer it without the glitter specs I added on there. But let me go ahead and do the top coat to see what the finished product looks like. It kind of left like a white clat, a cast of where those glitters were put on, which I don't really like. And this is craft glitter too, so maybe I'm just not using it right when it comes to me using it with my my nail here. So I went ahead and did another practice nail. This is how the original nail came out. I feel like the glitter gave it like this weird like white cast and the sparkle just isn't as prominent as I would have liked it to be. So I think I'm gonna just keep it clean, keep it plain ombre without the extra sparkle that I added on. So I picked up where I left off on the last nail. I went ahead and did three coats of the ombre scrub method that I showed you earlier on in the video. And all I'm gonna do is apply a base coat and a top coat and get the finished product here. With each of these layers, the base coat and the top coat, I am gonna turn the nail upside down just to get it to have like a really smooth surface, um, especially since I didn't do any filing on my end over here. Obviously, if you were applying it to your natural nail, you might wanna do a little bit of filing and buffing. I'm not one to do so, but um, I think I might, you know, try my hand at it a little bit more just to make sure my nails come out really nice and smooth. So upside down for 10 seconds, cure for 60. And while that's curing, this is actually the leftover powder that I had. I accidentally contaminated it. And so you can see it's like two different colors here. I'm actually just gonna store it like this and I don't like the waste product. And so if I find a need for it in the future, if I'm doing some nail art or something like that, 
I'll come back and grab this powder and play around with it. So yeah, if you all want to make sure you conserve and you know have no waste, you can always put it in like a little snack size Ziploc bag and, and save it for future use. So we'll see if I actually get around to using it again, but I think I will. Okay, happy people, this is what the nail is looking like after it's been top coated and I am absolutely loving how it turned out. This is a method that I really enjoy using when doing dip powders. I'm not someone to really use dip liquids anymore. I really enjoy using the gel method to do dip powder because there's very minimal filing involved. I do have a full tutorial of the set that I did um, after I did this practice nail and so I am going to leave that link down in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. Let me know how you all do your dip powder sets. Stay tuned until the end. I'm going to show you all a quick video of what the final set looked like as well. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. i love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!